guys, Misty here from The Joy of Adolf. Welcome back to day two of my Smitten Mittens um, series. So today I'm going to be using this cute little set of mittens along with the sentiment from Ready for Christmas, this A Wish for Everything Mary. And we're going to be using this piece of paper from the very Merry Christmas, I think is what it's called, designer series paper. This is one of the designer series paper packs that is um, part of the buy three get one free sale so if you're interested in that all of that information is over on the blog and that's linked down below along with all the um, excuse me the link to a blog post where it'll take you to the measurements etc so let's get started so I'm going to be using garden green and cherry cobbler today because that's the colors that are in the pattern paper I'm going to be using a piece of garden green as my card base this was cut at four and a quarter by 11. I scored it at five and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the card layer, which is a piece of Whisper White that was cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm just gonna be using some Tombow liquid glue. I'm already loving this series. It's only day two. <laughs> We're only on day two. I'm already loving, loving this series. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, for our outside card layer, I have a piece of cherry cobbler that measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths and not to mat our piece of pattern paper that measures four by five and a quarter. I just wanted to bring in a little bit more cherry cobbler. We're gonna be using it for our um, focal panel and we're gonna be using it in the ribbon. So I wanted to make sure that we had it a couple of places. So there should be an eighth of an inch border. All the way around. And this is why I've started using liquid glue because I have a second <laughs> to move it around. It's the best thing ever. I don't know why it took me so long to get on that train, but I did. And now I'm on there and you can't get me off. Plus, now that I sell my cards, I want to make sure that they can make it <laughs> without coming apart. And sometimes um, with snail, you know, it does fine, you know, if it's not going a whole long way. But I have several people, Christine and Suzanne, thank you, who have purchased cards all the way from Germany. So I want to make sure that it makes it all the way to Germany. <laughs> so I'm going to add some more on the back and we're going to get this adhered. Plus it's just easier. I don't know. I love snail too. They're both great. Use whatever adhesive you like. I am not the adhesive police, I promise you. Okay, that's it for our card base for now. I'm gonna be doing some embossing. I'm gonna be using the cable knit and the cable knit dynamic textured impressions impressions folder. So we'll get to that in a minute when I bring in the big shot. But first, I want to stamp my sentiment, and I already have it in my misty. So this is photopolymer, so I went ahead and like rubbed it on my arm a little bit to take off some of the stickiness. The first time you use them, they can be really, really sticky. And again, I'm using my Misty because it's just so much easier. But like I mentioned, I believe it's Tonic that has a new um, stamp positioner tool as well. So if you don't want the Misty. And that stamped pretty daggum good for a first try. Way to go, Misty. <laughs> Way to go, Idaho. So let me show you what I mean. So I just took the part that's going to be stamped, and I just kind of stamped it on my hand a little bit. And that just takes off a lot of the sticky. And I'm going to make sure that these aren't going to disrupt my sentiment.
Where they are doesn't matter all that much because, oops, I will be um, die cutting them. I just want to make sure that they're not going to bother, like the sentiment. I don't want them to be in the sentiment <laughs> when I cut it out with our stitch shape circles. Have you guys started your Christmas cards? Can you believe it's October? You better get on it. <laughs> get on the ball. Oh no. You know what? It'll be okay because I'm going to add some jewels anyway. I'm going to use another piece of washi tape. Again, I'm not using my magnetic platform for this, um, which I would, but my plates are pretty warped and um, they're preventing the magnet from really doing its job. And I have a feeling I have red ink all over me, so let me just take care of that real quick. This is another one of those cards. This would be super easy to mass produce. Okay, I'm gonna get these lined up. I'm gonna run them through my Big Shot and then I will be right back. I, have here. I also forgot that I was gonna cut out the largest circle out of Cherry Cobbler. So there's our sentiments. And here are our little mittens of love. So I'll put that to the side. We go ahead and bring in the stitched, double stitched Cherry Cobbler ribbon. And I think I want to use I know that most people like this side, but I kind of like the X side. I like the X's. So I'm gonna put this on, and again, put the piece of washi tape. <laughs> Sorry if my bracelet is driving you crazy. It's driving me crazy. Um, I don't, I'm gonna have to, I told Rob, I'm gonna, I was like, I'm gonna have to get on the Carol Wright website. You guys remember that little booklet you get in the mail that's like full of a, you know, stuff that you don't really need, but it's probably kind of useful. I have, I remember always seeing like something to help you put on a bracelet. If I can get something like that, then I can take this, you know, put this on when I need it. But if I don't, then I just have to leave it on all the time because I'm not always awake when Rob leaves to go to work. So I want to add this right here. You guys are probably gonna see this cable knit embossing folder four million times. <laughs> because I just really love it, especially with this, you know, this bundle because it just makes me think of knit scarves and gloves and hats and where I grew up I mean I grew up in Oklahoma southern Oklahoma to be exact and where I live now here in the Dallas area it's <laughs> winter is hit or miss sometimes we have a winter and sometimes we have a second fall or a third summer so but I still have hats and mittens and stuff and scarves just because I really enjoy the cooler weather. Like my favorite time of year has always been fall and spring. Um, fall because it's crisp and football. I mean, I was in band, we used to go to Friday night football all the time and drinking hot chocolate and, you know, just really enjoying that time of year. And I still love it. And that means the holidays are coming. You guys know I love Christmas. So, and then for spring, it's not quite 400 degrees outside. I mean, I don't love spring storms, tornadoes especially, but those of you who have been following me for a while know that we had a tornado about two blocks from my house the day after Christmas a few years ago. So, weather is gonna happen when weather wants to happen. That's what I say. How cute is the sentiment? I love it so much. It's just so stinking cute. 
And thanks to, I can't remember your name, that told me about keeping my tumbow upside down. I don't know why I never thought of that. <laughs> it's like, oh, I think I left the classroom and forgot everything I knew about teaching. All those teaching hacks. I remember it was very early on that I learned that I need to buy glue by the gallon and just refill bottles than trying to buy a bunch of glue. <sighs> Waxing poet today because I had to fill out some paperwork and I was like, what have you been doing for the last, you know, 15 years of your life? And I was like, oh, I was teaching. I started working with kids when I was 20. Um, I always knew I wanted to work with kids, but I didn't get down that path until I was 20. So. Alright, I'm just going to adhere this on. I'm holding it up a little so I can see what I'm doing. Right there. I think I want them right there. So let's glue them together. Comment down below with what you do. Are you a domestic engineer? Are you a teacher? A lot of crafters are teachers. You don't have to say if you don't want to. I'm just curious. I'm just nosy. <laughs> you guys know, you should know, if you're new here, hello. <laughs> I was working up until August and then I ha unfortunately had to leave my job due to health reasons. But I started working with kids at 20 and then I worked with kids up until October. And by then I was a supervisor, so. I was basically working with large kids instead of small kids. <laughs> I was working with grown-ups. Most of the times, grown-ups are just like big kids. So let's cover my boo-boo. We'll cover this one too. It's Christmas. I need a little bling bling. Bling 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 bling. Isn't this... Uh, this font is just so cute. I love it. Look at that. So quick. So simple. So much fun. Alright guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Like I mentioned earlier, the link to the blog post will be down in the description box below. That'll take you over to the blog where you can print the recipe, see more pictures, etc. The... Supplies are linked there, but they're also linked down below. If you click on that, it'll take you directly to the My Stampin' Up! store. Don't forget that from now until August, Octo excuse me, October 10th, you can save 15% off on select stamp sets. You can buy Fast Fuse, get two refills free, and save 15% on um, envelopes. And then you have until the 31st to take advantage of the Designer Series Paper Sell, excuse me, Designer Series Paper Sell, where you buy three packs and get one free. And finally, there's one little note about this on my blog, but Stampin' Up! is allowing demonstrators to pre-order alcohol markers. Woot woot, they're bringing those back. And if you join Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator between October 1st and October 15th, you can choose those to go in your starter kit. So yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much. Make sure you're following me on social media, get Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know what you do. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.